Are you enjoying our videos? We would be very grateful if you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. It's story time with Juicy. Dragon was terrible. Written by Kelly DePucchio. Pictures by Greg Pozzoli. Dragon was terrible. Naturally, dragons have a bit of terrible in them because they're dragons after all. But this dragon here, super terrible. Hmm. He stomped on flowers. He played tricks on the guards. Uh -oh. And he spit on cupcakes. Who does that? Dragon, that's who. That's not all. He scribbled in books. He threw sand. And he took candy from baby unicorns. Honestly, that's terrible. The king had had enough. Enough! He said. And he posted this sign. Brave knights, whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift. It shall be a nice gift. Ye shall like it. His royal majesty, the king. Dragon was here. Knights lined up to show off their dragon taming skills. They all failed miserably. And Dragon just grew more terrible. Ow! He chased fuzzy yellow ducklings around the moat. He TP'd the castle. <laughs> and he burned every last royal marshmallow to a blackened crisp. The villagers had had enough. Enough! They said. And they posted this sign. Brave people, whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift from the king. It shall be a nice gift, we hope. Ye shall like it. Perhaps his royal majesty the king. Dragon was here again. Ordinary blokes and lassies lined up to try their hand at taming the dragon. They all failed, embarrassingly so. And just when you thought it wasn't possible, dragon grew even more terrible. <gasps> he popped birthday balloons. He drew funny faces on the drawbridge. And... He burped in church, Burp. loudly. <laughs> Honestly, that's terrible and rude. <laughs> a boy wearing a feathered cap and a look of determination had had enough. Only he didn't say enough like you thought he would. Instead, he sketched a story. The next day, Dragon followed a trail of marshmallows to a shady tree where the boy was reading. The boy spied the dragon out of the corner of his eye and began to read aloud in a booming voice. And then the brave dragon swooped in to save the princess. He said. Dragon stopped in his tracks. But the terrible knight pulled out his wicked sword. Dragon pretended not to listen. The brave dragon roared and the frady cat knight trembled in his boots. Dragon pretended to walk away. A crowd began to gather and Dragon took cover in a tree. The boy continued reading, page after page after page, until... Snap! Crash! Dragon landed on the ground with a terrible thud. 
The crowd gasped. The dragon roared. The clever boy didn't flinch. He reached out a hand to the dragon and said, Would you like to hear how the story ends? And just when you thought it wasn't possible, Dragon smiled and he took a seat beneath the tree with the other children. Honestly, that's adorable. The king cheered. Yay! The villagers cheered. Yay! The baby unicorn and fuzzy ducklings cheered the loudest of all. At long last, the terrible dragon had been tamed. The end. Hey, wait. What about the reward? Oh, yes, that. The gift was a new friend. A nice dragon, of course. Join us next time when we read Pterodactyl Show and Tell on It's Story Time with Juicy. Did you know that we have a website where you can have fun by solving a hidden mystery puzzle based on this story? It's free! Check it out along with our other puzzles by visiting storytimewithjuicy.com. Have fun!